Hey folks and welcome back. So we're gonna try and get into the Iron Age today. There's the uh, bloomer here just went out. So if we look inside you can see that kind of blackish dark brown mess mass back there. That is the bloom. So we hit it. And 600 units. So that means we're going to get six ingots out of it. And it is yellow hot. All right, so the first thing we need to do, bring it in here to our anvil. Refined bloom. Oh, sorry, I have to hit it three times. Okay. There we go. Now I've got a refined bloom, and I think we have to split it next. So we have to punch it last. Oh. There we go. And that splits it up into 100 unit chunks, as you can see. And now what we can do is turn those into ingots. And again, we have to hit them. It's one ingot. Ah, it's not hot enough anymore. Okay, so I'm going to have to heat these back up. But as you can see, we've got now one ingot of wrought iron. And we've got enough here to make five more. So what I'm going to do, actually, since I need to heat these up again to continue working them, and I've only got six. Uh, I've only got enough to make six ingots. Now we're going to, as usual, same as we had to do with the uh, with copper and bronze, we're going to need to make an iron anvil if we want to actually do anything with our iron. And that's going to take seven double ingots, which means I need a total of 14. So i got to do at least two more rounds with this uh, bloomery here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it up again. And I guess I'll take you through it one more time. I think like that. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, and then that should be good to go, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And we dump. It should only, it's probably only going to take, hang on here, back up. It's probably only going to take 24. So we've got a total of 24, including the uh, eight coal charcoal we put in down here. We've got a total of 24 charcoal and 24 iron. And oh, there's my uh, fire starter. And off we go. Okay, so while that cooks, I'm going to go heat up the uh, these other blooms I've got. These other blooms here. I'll heat them up in the forge. Oops. And, uh, and convert them into ingots and bring you back actually and I'm gonna to have to do another round right because that's only gonna give me another six yeah yeah they're 25 units each and there's 24 of them so that's only gonna give me six more ingots so I'm gonna to have to do another round with the bloomery so you don't need to sit with me while I do all that uh, so I'll bring you back in when I get there um, before I cut away though, um, there were a couple of things that I wanted to cover off. Um, one is that um, I think I'm going to try, I won't do it right now while I'm working on the uh, on the iron, but I think I'm going to try planting some grain now anyway. I mean, the worst that can happen is we get a frost and it reverts back to seed. 
At least I think that's the worst that can happen. <laughs> I'll find out. Um, so just to get it going, because the grain takes a long time to grow, and I'm going to want it to breed the goats and to, uh, you know, and to uh, familiarize the sheep once I get them in and all that sort of stuff. So uh, that's the one thing. Uh, the next thing is there's something I guess I didn't make clear. The When we started out making our first, before we had a uh, copper anvil, we were making our tools using clay molds. So we would melt up, melt some copper in a uh, pit kiln and then we would make some clay molds Um, make some clay molds and then the, and then pour the, uh, yeah, that was a better one. Uh, then we, they pour the liquid metal into the mold. Uh, that's already too cold. Um, so with copper and bronze, you can do that. You can either, you can either pour it into a mold. No hammer in the anvil. Oh, this is really annoying that for some things you need the hammer in the anvil and for other things you need the hammer in your hand. I wish they'd fix that. <clears throat> yeah. So for copper and bronze, you can either pour it into a mold or or you can work it on on the um, anvil. But once you get beyond that and get into uh, iron and steel, you no longer have the option, whoops, you no longer have the option to put it into a mold. Uh, you can only work it on an anvil. Okay. Um, oh no, that's right. There's one more thing I want to tell you, <laughs> except I'm getting caught up here. So you get to watch me do a little bit of this anyway. But since I've managed to get a pretty, f going pretty fast here, you won't have to wait very long while I do it. So we'll have to finish off this last one. Okay. Um... Uh, do I have enough? Oh, they're not at welding temperature. Okay. Um, okay. So the other thing is that when we wanted to make the bronze, we had to make up an alloy. So we put some copper and some cassiterite, some tin, in the right proportions into a vessel, and then we put them into the uh, pit kiln to melt them and form the alloy. You can also use the forge for it. So we could put them in a vessel, but you have to be able to get it up to white hot heat. And for that, we would need a bellows. By itself, we can't get things up to white hot heat uh, by default in a, in a forge. So I may demonstrate that later. Well, in fact, I will demonstrate it when we start to alloy steel, but uh, we could have been alloying our bronze that way as well. Or at least that's my understanding of it. I haven't done that in TNG yet, so we'll have to see. All right, so I will bring you back when I'm when I'm done uh, getting together all these ingots. See you then. Well, and of course it started to rain again. Uh, at least it wasn't snow. At least it isn't frost. Uh, so as you can see, I went ahead and planted all the crops. Yeah, you know, take my chances with them. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't get a frost. Uh, this is the third bloom. As you can see, I've done, I finished up the first two and I now have six uh, double ingots. And now we're just waiting up on this one. This bloom to finish up. And I'll be able to make the seventh double ingot. And that will let us make a wrought iron anvil. Ah, there we go. And I'm going to take you through this just because I was a bit rushed on the first one and I'd forgotten something and stuff like that. And excuses, excuses, excuses. 
all that lovely stuff. Okay, so for these operations, I need the hammer in the anvil. And I want to refine it. There we go. And now we're going to split it. Oh, I keep forgetting that would be back here. There we go. Now that's split. And now we convert it into uh, an ingot. Okay. So, when you get the bloom, the first thing you have to do is you have to refine it. I'm not sure what, what that really, in real life, what it was is that was you just hammered away at it to compress it and get all the slag out. That's the refining. Uh, and then that leaves you with one big bloom and then you have to split it up into 100 unit chunks. And then each of those 100 unit chunks, you can then uh, convert into a single ingot. Okay, so I will bring you back <clears throat> when these are done. Okay, so we can see we've got a bunch of uh, these ingots now are up to yellow white and they can be welded. So we put them in here and for the weld operation, this has to be in my hand there. And that's the seventh one. Uh, let's put these two guys in as well. And now we can come over here with our seven ingots. Make a wrought iron anvil. Ha! We've entered the Iron Age. Now, if you look down here, you can see my tools of the uh, my my bronze axe is just about dead my bronze shovel is just about dead pickaxe is a little past halfway point so <clears throat> i'm just going to start making myself some lovely new uh wrought iron tools instead so you can see this has gotten up to yellow white i don't think it'll go beyond yellow white so that's the one nice thing is once you get into wrought iron again assuming it hasn't changed in tng um, you don't have to worry about it melting uh, in the forge at any rate. You don't have to worry about the ingot melting because it'll, it can't get hot enough to melt without a bellows. So, so we'll come over here now and we want to make a shovel, wrought iron shovel. So punch, so we want to hit it and then punch. So. There we go. That was quick. Uh, the next one we want is going to be the axe. Uh, axe head. Upset, hit, punch. Okay, finally got that one done. Uh, what's next? We're going to want a, a better pick. There's the pick head. All right. And it is draw, bend, and then punch. Draw goes that way. Okay. Okay, that's that one out of the way. <clears throat> the other one I want to do is a sword. 
because I believe, I mean, it should be that the iron sword should uh, do more damage than, than the bronze one. And we're going to have to do some exploring soon because I want to go looking for uh, jute. Okay, so sword, 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 sword blade. Oh, 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 that's right. Uh, for a sword, I need a double ingot. I can't make a, a sword blade out of a single ingot. I need a double ingot. Ooh, since I only have one ingot left, that means I'm going to have to go out and uh, fire up another, fire up the bloomery yet again. Which is fine, because probably need more for creating armor as well. Is there anything else I want to make out of it? I don't need another prospector's pick. Uh, let's do a hoe. I, I, I don't have a metal hoe. Oops. I want to see if... Uh, so we have bend, hit, punch. Ooh, that was fast. Okay, I want to see if uh, if they've implemented the uh, hoe modes, the various hoe modes for metal hoes. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. No, that's too bad. Well, at least now I have metal hoe. While we wait for this next batch of iron ore to uh, process here, uh, something I wanted to clear up that I was kind of confusing before. Um, I said, when I was talking about the... Uh, the amount of charcoal and the amount of ore that goes into this bloomery. As I said, you need 24, like for this three high one, you need 24 charcoal and 24 uh, iron, 24 ore. And I said, that's including the eight down here. That's wrong. The eight down here are separate. So in the chimney, you need, you need 24 charcoal and 24 ore and then you need an additional eight charcoal in the bottom. So for a total of 32 charcoal, 24 ore. And what that works out to is that's basically for the ore and the charcoal in the chimney, that's eight per level. So I have the chimney is three high, so I get 24. Okay, anything else that I screwed up that I should correct you about? Um, oh, uh, yeah, something else is I've been saying that I think that the months are 10 days long. I went and checked that as well, and they're only eight days long. And that kind of explains why this time seems to have been passing more quickly than I thought it should. And I guess that's it. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. So I'll bring you back when the, uh, when I've got another double ingot that I can turn into a sword. And since this is going to give me six, I don't know if that'll be enough for me to make any iron, iron, any iron, blah, any armor. Because armor takes an awful lot of metal. So we'll see. I may have to like do up even more, uh, even more batches in the bloomery. As you can see, this is a pretty slow process, right? Because I can only, I, you know, I'm, I could consider, I guess, building a second bloomery. That's one possibility. Um, but we'll see. And the reason I'm, I'm talking about, you know, why I want a better sword and I'm talking about making some armor is because I want to, the next thing I want to do is go exploring to see if I can find some jute. I think I mentioned that earlier. And that means running, of course, into more wild animals, you know, more lions and saber tooths and panthers and stuff like that and theoretically bears as well bears are the worst um bears i'm not <laughs> if i run into a bear i am not going to engage um but uh, so it would be nice to have a little bit better protection against those things 
so that's why I'm talking about hopefully making some armor. Okay, so I'll bring you back when uh, when I'm ready to make the sword. See you then. Okay, we've got two more of these up to the point where we can weld them. Bring one here. We need this in our hand to weld. Crouch and boom. Okay, now, now I can make a sword blade. Yeah, what is this? Bend, bend, and hit. What kind of hit is it? That was too much. Oh, come on, that wasn't it? Oh, I need two bends. That's why. That didn't work. Okay. There we go. That got it. Okay, um, yeah, let's make up the next double ingot. Okay, and now I can use that to make a wrought iron sheet. So we'll do that, and that's just three hits. And if I put that in there now, what can I make out of that? Boots. So the only thing I can make out of a single wrought iron sheet is a pair of boots. Okay, well, let's see what I can make out of a double sheet. Are these guys there yet? Nope, not yet. Okay, put them in, weld them together, turn them into a sheet. There we go. Grab that other sheet. Actually, we gotta make sure they can both be welded. Myself a little bit of head, head way, a little bit of room to maneuver. Come on, one more star. There we go. Okay, now with a double, I can make greaves, a helmet, or a chest plate. Let's go for a chest plate. Uh, so that's going to be upset, hit, hit. Upset, hit, hit. There we go. Now it's unfinished. What does that mean? Is there nothing I can do with it? Oh, I bet you I have to, I know what I need to do. I probably have to weld it with another, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to weld it with another sheet or double sheet. Okay, so armor is going to be a pain. Well, I've already got another batch of iron going, so I'll bring you back in when it's there. Like I said, uh, armor takes a lot of metal. I mean, and that was true in the in, in the olden days as well, right? So I'll bring it back in when uh, we can make some more progress on this chest plate. All right, so I've made up a couple of more single sheets, and I've got the breastplate, the unfinished chest plate, that is, up to welding point. So let's see if I can weld it to just one, just a single sheet, or if I need a double sheet. No, that's not going to work. So I guess I need to weld it to a double sheet. Oh, actually, oh, it probably won't tell me on, uh, it does tell me on here. Oh, 
definitely not weldable. I right, let them cool. So actually, I should have tried. Uh, I did. I did it wrong. I should have tried welding the single uh, plate to the chest plate. Well, we'll try welding the double, and if that doesn't work, then I can make another single out of these two ingots here. Okay, both weldable. Yeah, wrought iron chest plate. Yes. Okay. And let's use these guys here to make a... Whoops, need to weld them together. Let's make another wrought iron sheet. And then I can make unfinished wrought iron boots out of them. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Uh, shrink, bend, bend. All right. Well, that took long enough. Whew. Okay. I uh, don't need to be wasting charcoal here. And I put on my new uh, chest plate so you can see that's plus five armor. Heavy and large. And uh, the old leather one was plus three. So I've improved my my armor class a little bit. Okay, so I've got yet more iron cooking up. And uh, so when that's done, we'll finish up the boots. Actually, while we're waiting for the, uh, for the uh, bloomery to finish up over there, uh, why don't we try making ourselves a... Um, Bellows. Why is it I can only th can't think of these things when I go to say them here? They're in my mind before I start recording, but as soon as I start recording, I lose the word. Okay. Bellows. And as you can see, I've uh, <laughs> I've moved my chest up in preparation. So the bellows has a hole on one end, and you have to place it such that that hole is facing the area above the forge. And the hole will be facing away from me when I place it. So there we go. That'll do it. And the way you operate the bellows is you just right click pull down right click on it okay oh is that two deer up there oh look at that a pair of deer hmm and i'm running low on food well not quite yet not quite yet the onions don't look like they're about to come in anytime soon so <laughs> I'll probably have to end up having to go after deer. Anyway, I will bring you back. All right, my unfinished boots are up to welding temperature now. And so let's see first if we can weld it to a single sheet or if it needs a double sheet. Ah, it does work with a single sheet. Okay. I seem to recall that boots were like the... the, the Required the least amount of work. Okay. Um, so I have the boots. Is there anything else we can make out of this? Iron bars. No. So for any more armor, I'm going to need another double sheet. still good they're still both yellow white okay so 
We will weld them together. And what else can we make? Helmet or greaves. All right, let's go for the helmet. Uh, and that one is bend, bend, hit. Okay. That should be easier than the last one. There we go. Ha! Yeah, and it's still unfinished, which means I'm going to have to uh, bring, bring in some more sheets. Probably a double, maybe a single. I don't know. We'll see. So, you know the drill by now. Well, first let's put on our boots. So these are only plus one armor? Really? Oh, that's a rip. Oh, what a rip. I, I mean, uh, they probably have better endurance, but... Still... Ah, uh, well... No, oh, okay, so I'm not going to wear them right now, then. No. I'm going to sulk. Yeah. There, they can sit in the corner. Make babies sit in the corner. <clears throat> okay, well, i got to wait for some more iron here, too. Oh, it's already ready. So I will go and, uh, you know, do the... Oh, no, I don't have more cooking. Okay, well, <laughs> I've got to start it, then. <laughs> okay, I will... Get more iron cooking and get back to you. See in a bit. Okay, I've got my right iron helmet up to welding temperature. Let's try it with a single sheet and see if that's enough. Yes, it is. Excellent. So the last thing we have is greaves. Broad iron sheet. And we need to weld it to this other one. All right. Greaves. And what's this one? Hit, draw, bend. And the order doesn't matter. So hit, draw, bend. There we go. And then we're going to need, of course, yet more iron to, uh, to weld that to. At least we get an improvement on this, on this helmet. So the leather cap is just plus one. The wrought iron gives us plus two at least. And this time I remember to actually start the next batch of iron. So this should be the last batch of iron we need before we have all of our uh, our armor in place. So I will bring it back in when we're ready to do the finish up the greaves. And you can see I've got more uh, charcoal cooking up. Oh, there's something else I wanted to show you. This is something I've never encountered before. Again, I don't know if this is this is in new to TNG or if it's just something I never. Well, I've never dealt with goats before. There were no goats in regular TFC. I don't... Yeah, there were no goats. But anyway, so I come out here to milk the goats. Okay, or goat. I've only got one female. So watch what happens. It tells me if you look over and left there, goat is... the goat. This goat is too old. I mean, I haven't even had the goat for a year yet. I mean, but it was out there wandering around for quite a while before. So I guess it's still an age while it was out there. So if we assume it spawned in my first year here. This is only 1,000. So it's, the goat is one year old and it's too old. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, so I can't milk it anymore. And I'm guessing, I mean, since they generate the milk so that they can feed the young, I'm guessing that means I can't breed it anymore either so that's kind of disappointing 
But we'll see. We'll wait for our grains to come in and see what happens. Anyway, I will bring you back in when uh, I'm ready to finish up the greaves. All right, let's take a couple of these guys here. And turn them into a whoops, double ingot. A hammer in my hand. And then turn that into a wrought iron plate. other two guys here and weld them together as well just to get them whoops, get them on their way in case we need a double all right so we're gonna take the pants and one iron sheet and see if that's enough or the greaves, I guess they're called. Yep, that was enough. Alright, I'm going to leave these guys, these ingots alone, because I, I only need single ingots to make tool heads, most tool heads out of, right? So I have a wrought iron sheet there if I need it. Um, the only other thing I'll do right now is... Oh, actually... I, what we can do here. Okay, so you can see the temperature gauge on the left here is just below that second mark from the top. So now watch what happens if I uh, manipulate the bellows for a bit. You can see it's risen all the way up to the top. So that's how you can that you use the bellows to make it even hotter. And then you have to hold it up there for a certain period of time to, you know, to get iron up to the point where it will melt. But anyway, so that's uh, plus four armor versus the plus two I had before. So the leather boots are the only ones that are a ripoff. But I'm considerably more secure. I have a better sword. Let's put this one up. And so we are fully in the Iron Age now. Oh, 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 my carrots. My carrots are almost there. And I suspect that that's plenty enough for a single episode. Probably got at least half an hour of stuff just making the armor. And uh, so next episode what we'll be doing is uh, running around looking for... Well, some other crops, but specifically we'll want to find jute. And, uh, and hopefully also some of our, some of our crops here will come in. I had to go and kill another deer because I'd run out of food. So, killed the deer and cooked them up. Tied me over until, looks like the carrots will be the first thing done here. Because they were planted earlier. Anyway, so I hope to see you back here on the next episode, and we'll uh, do some more exploring. Bye.